Where Valley and estimated tens of thousands of people are in town for the Philadelphia Tattoo Arts Convention. And this is your last day to check out this show. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is live at the Pennsylvania Convention Center this morning, where the doors open later today. Anita, good morning. Good morning, Jan. Well, for everybody who wants to come down here, today is the last day of the Tattoo Arts Convention. There was a line going out the door yesterday and around three blocks around the Pennsylvania Convention Center. And all of the seats here were also filled for other performances as well. It's not just tattoos that you can find here. So joining me now, this is Al Miller. He is the human knot, originally from Australia, but now joining us in the great Philadelphia. So, Al, you've been part of this for several years now. What do you think that this does for the city, and what kind of crowd do you see here? Oh, it's definitely my type of crowd. These people are cool. <laughs> Philly's cool. And uh, there's just all these awesome artists from all over the country here uh, tattooing, and there's myself and Enigma, and there's all, so all sorts of cool, like, sideshow acts on the stage. So uh, I feel like sitting down, being entertained, you can mm -hmm. do that and hear a bunch of jokes and see a bunch of cool tricks. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yesterday you had a very large crowd for your performance. You have another one coming up later in the afternoon today. What do you want people to know about your act and how did you even get started? Uh, I'm a comedy contortionist, so I, I bend my body in quite extreme ways mm -hmm. and I tell jokes while I'm doing it and I get the crowd hyped up. And I'm from Australia, and uh, so I have a funny accent. Uh, so that always helps yeah. being in America. Yeah. And now you also have multiple tattoos. You actually got one of them here at the convention previously. Yeah. What do you want people to know about the convention, especially on the last day today? Oh, they should definitely get their butts down here <laughs> because it's the coolest thing happening in town since the Super Bowl. And a very large crowd. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're also seeing a lot of people come in and have actually Eagles related tattoos as well. So today, what kind of things are you going to be performing? Oh, well, I can show you a couple of little things. Like this. Oh, it's pretty cool. I love its family friends. <laughs> so he has a bunch of different cool acts going on today. Again, as I mentioned, his performance is going to be later on in the afternoon today. They also have multiple uh, booths here, more than 800 booths last year. They increased that by 5% this year in the Pennsylvania Convention Center, though. So they've been expecting about 30,000 people throughout the weekend. Again, doors this morning open at 11. Tickets can be found, or the information for tickets can be found on our website. That's CBS. Philly.com. For now, live at the Pennsylvania Convention Center, Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.